Look, really, this is not so bad. Notation is the source of most of the difficulties when doing a chain rule problem, but if you are neat and clean and careful with your variables, look, you're going to be fine. Let's practice with an example where we've got a lot of variables going on. Let's say that z is u times v cubed, but u and v both depend on variables s and t. So u is s squared minus t squared, and v is s times t. If I want to know how does z vary with respect to s and t, what can I do? Well, I could just substitute in for u and v, and then take partials with respect to s and t. But let's do this via matrices. Let's do this via the chain rule. And let's practice being careful. Let's say that z depends on the variables y, and the y variables depend on x variables, where I'm going to declare y to be the vector of variables u and v, and x to be the vector of variables s and t. Now, let's start computing uh, matrices of partial derivatives. The derivative of z with respect to the y variables, that is u and v, is partial z partial u and partial z partial v. Let's just compute that. That's easy. Um, the first term is v cubed and the second term is 3uv squared. Okay, so much for that. Not a problem. Now, what is the derivative of the y variables with respect to the x variables. That's the 2 by 2 matrix given by the partial of u with respect to s and t and the partials of v with respect to s and t. So let's just compute that. That's not going to be so bad. That's going to give us the 2 by 2 matrix 2s, negative 2t, and then t and s in the second row. Okay, there we go. Those are the pieces. Now we can put them together using the chain rule and matrix multiplication to get the derivative of z with respect to the x variables, that is s and t. So let me take those two matrices that we've computed, v cubed and 3uv squared, and then multiply that by 2s, negative 2t, t and s. Be careful about the order of multiplication and then just write it out. We get 2sv cubed plus 3tuv squared for the first term and for the second term we get negative 2tv cubed plus 3suv squared. Now that's not the final form we want it in. We want to substitute in the s and t variables for u and v. With a little bit of algebra, we get our final answer in terms of s and t. And what is this? Oh, this is the matrix of partial derivatives. Partial z partial s and partial z partial t. One computation has computed both of these partial derivatives. This is how z depends on the s and t variables and see how the matrix multiplication is doing the work for us.